Now that we've covered the safety aspects of using OxyFuel process, it's time for Ken to give us some techniques on how to make a good quality cut. A few things that I like to remember are first I want to hold the torch very comfortably with both hands. If you're right-handed like I am, you want to make sure you get your left hand involved and that will help stabilize the torch. Remember, being steady is key to developing a good smooth cut. <clears throat> You'll notice I'll also use my left elbow as a guide and I'll just slide across the surface of my table making sure that I'm good and steady. I'll also lean up against the table and just so I'm very comfortable and I want to make sure before I light the torch that I do a couple of practice runs on my piece so that nothing interferes. We'll go ahead and light the torch. Now after I've got a good neutral flame, I want to make sure that I hold the torch approximately an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch away from my base material. Now that is the inner cones of the flame to the base material. And I'm going to hold the torch and be patient there until the material heats up to a cherry red color. It's heating up, I'm going to depress my oxygen cutting lever. Move steadily, not too fast. I don't want to lose my cut. And I'm going to follow through all the way until my material drops off. And there we have it. Turn off my oxygen, turn off my fuel. Well, thanks, Ken. That was a good demonstration of proper technique to make a good quality cut. <laughs>